Hi everyone and welcome along to today's video. This one concerns these little beauties here. Yes, these are the dreaded gate valve and these have been in existence for a long, long time and you usually find them either either side of a central heating pump or you probably find them if you've got an FNE system on the cold feeds to the hot water cylinder and also if you've got a cold feed in the bathroom it will also be on the cold feed to that. Now sometimes these are located in the loft by the tank, just outside the tank. So if you haven't got one in the airing cupboard to turn your hot water off, that's probably where it'll be. Or you might not have anything at all. <laughs> it does happen. Um, but basically these are kind of straight through valves. If you look there, you know, the idea of the gate is to let the full flow of water up and not stop any pressure at all. So what's the problem with these gate valves? Well, I can tell you there is some major problems with these things when they've been in for a few years and that is that they stick solid you go to turn them and you just can't budge them they're just absolutely horrible now <laughs> my advice a lot of times is to take them out and put a full bore valve in with the half lever full bore open way don't put in a isolation valve 22 mil they must be avoided at all costs but anyway, if you don't want to do that and we'll get this going, um, you're really going to have to try and move it a tiny bit either way at a time until it moves more and more and gradually starts opening the gate that's there. If I turn the gate, this is a new valve, you can see the gate closing there. So what you're trying to do is get that gate to close down all the way till it shut off. And say so once they are stiff and gone solid, because they get like, corroded behind them, and then they stop working. Now, another little thing to, to avoid as well is, is if you open it full up like that and then go to turn it a little bit later, it'll be solid. Whenever you've opened it back on like so, turn it back just a little bit and it will kind of stop it from sticking. And one other last thing, when they are right off, if you've got it right off, <laughs> a lot of times they don't go quite right off because the gate doesn't quite shut. It's, on a piece of swarf or something so it just lets by a little bit especially old gate valves it's quite normal to turn the thing off open the hot tap and find that it's still running a little bit not as fast as it was but just enough to stop you from working on whatever it is you wanted to do with your plumbing and one last 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 thing <laughs> we'll get there in the end if it's right off you've got it right off and you've used grips to get it off then you could be in major trouble because when you've got to turn it on, especially if you use grips, what happens sometimes is you turn it and the head will move like this, but the body, the actual paddle goes up and down, uh, will remain where it is uh, so that you keep turning. Uh, instead of it opening like it is there, see the gate opening? That will not happen. The gate will remain shut firmly because you gripped it off hard with a pair of grips and it snapped the connection between the threaded part and the actual plunger that goes up and down so that's one to be very very careful of with gate valves it's happened to a lot of people and when it does it means the whole system has got to be drained down somehow uh, and the only way you can do that is usually put a hose in the roof tank and empty it out because you can't get it out of the valve because it's locked off <laughs> so you can't put hose on the cylinder and drain a bit out can you because it's locked off solid there so or the other way is to put a bung in the cold feed up there and then try and undo the top nut on this valve so you can pull the pipe out and empty it maybe into a bowl so it's just that bit of pipe that drops from the tank and then put another valve on well i wouldn't suggest putting one of these on i say put the full bore lever taps on uh, the quarter turn ones with the red or the blue lever and uh, you won't get any bother these things are almost as lethal as isolation valves <laughs> just been around a lot longer <laughs> so it's just a little heads up on gate valves i say someone wrote to me with that problem about it being locked off and you turned it back on and couldn't get any water what's happened and that's the explanation okay that's about it though all my stuff you know where to go usual place Derek and 33 catch you next time guys bye bye